Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. I'm here today with Stefano, with just the whole meet, the whole German Nationals, the finals has just wrapped up. I've watched a load of races, Fritz done brilliantly, Cam's from the B final tonight, I've seen Chad, it's been a great weekend, but someone I'm really <laughs> excited to have met is Stefano. Now, thank you. If you are on, if you're following me, there's a good chance you follow, what's your, what's your Instagram handle? Sterazzo86. On Instagram, how many followers you got now, like? 183 or something like that? 183,000, yeah. Yeah, thousand. He's one of the biggest swimming accounts. His content is brilliant. Drill, great underwater footage, great motivation. I follow him myself, have done for a long time. And I watched him in the 50 freestyle. I filmed it. We're going to watch it together. Tell us about this 50 freestyle you just done. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, first of all. Um, well, that, you know, I just came in uh, to this meet just wanting to have fun. And you know, it's been a journey. Um, I've been swimming the Nationals for many, many years. I'm mainly one of the oldest ones, oldest swimmers here now, by now. And so it's, uh, it's nothing new, but for me, it actually, it's new to swim freely, you know, to be free from the stress, from the pressure. And that was my goal. Just uh, come to this meet, come to Berlin, to this amazing pool, and uh, just have a blast feeling fast and swimming to the best of my abilities. And um, that's not always been the case, you know, for, the, for my previous uh, nationals. I was always driven by, you know, I want to swim a new PB because now it's the time to swim a new PB. I want a medal. I want to swim a, I don't know, a final. And it's never, and it's never worked. And that really took uh, the, the fun factor out of the, from, from swimming. And so, you know, with the years, I was able to rediscover myself and now, swimming free and really having fun being present my performances are like really taking off you know i, I mean i came here with a or this season my pb was 22.7 i dropped in it from 22.7 to a 22.5 although that was wasn't my goal i just wanted to swim fast that was my motto all the way and now i brought it down to 22.3 i can't complain it was a blast that was the goal and it, it manifested <laughs> So if you haven't worked out from his Instagram handle, Sterazzo86, he was born in 1986, which means he's 37 years old. And today you swam back to back, two heat and final, lifetime yeah. bests. Lifetime bests, yeah. 22.40, I think this morning yeah. or yeah, yeah. this afternoon. <laughs> yeah. And then a couple of hours later, 22.39. It's, uh, I mean, you know, I'm still trying to comprehend myself, but I still can't understand it because and that's the point I was making with him, uh, with Sonny, you know, it's if you go to a meet with an expectation of a time or a target time, we never work with target time. It's long gone from our program because it's just limiting yourself and uh, it's just bringing, bringing you to, the, to, to your head, to your mind. And as sprinters, that's detrimental. And that's a fun factor plus two, to just be, you know, surprised. What's, what's in there, you know? And I know something big is in there because we worked a lot on technique with my wife and uh, we worked a lot and the consistency has been very good and now you know it's uh, paying off this rapid fire a few things but you're 37 right yeah how many times a week are you swimming you hit a good week it's six times a week in the water with two gym sessions a week and we never do more than 3k we never, never more than 3k. than 3k so max maybe. week max week 18k yeah. minimum week uh, like during the like last two weeks, uh, we were hitting maybe one and a like one and a half k, yeah. And these last couple of days, maybe 600 meters, a lot of land work, a lot of stability work, a lot of explosiveness. We were still hitting the gym on Monday though. I, I love that. And so, so I didn't know about you until our chats earlier. But yeah. what is your background? So what events yeah. did you swim during? I guess your age group or your more serious swimming career. Yeah, so I I'm a middle distance swimmer. I was a middle distance swimmer. No, you're not a middle distance. You're a no, full-time sprinter now. I was, I was, yeah. I, I come from a 200 meter butterfly. I trained, uh, it really, my swimming picked up uh, it, when I was studying at the University of Bath uh, with um, Andre Varnsov uh, and uh, Emma Sonwick. Uh, they really brought my swimming to the next level, especially with that elite squad. And there, you know, I started uh, training, I, I started with doubles there at the uh, age of 19. And so we were training maybe when we were hitting a good week, we were doing 100 kilometers a week volume when we're, you know, working, grinding. <laughs> so 
So that's my background, you know. And then in 2012, while uh, I was preparing for the Olympic trials for the 200 meter butterfly, which I medaled in 2008, I got second, dropping from a 2.8 to a 2.1. I injured my shoulder really bad and I had to have surgery. The doctors were saying, yeah, you, no way, you're never gonna swim again because it's too messed up. And I looked at the eyes of this doctor and I was saying to myself in my head, he's like, you wait and see, I, I, I'm gonna prove you wrong. That's completely bonkers what you're saying there. And so that motivated me actually, brought me away from that middle distance kind of program mindset and reshift into the sprinting world. And, uh, and that's when everything got orchestrated in my life where the people came into my life that brought me where I am right now. I'm just gonna finish this off with one thing because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. earlier I, I said to Stefano because I, I saw him a couple of days ago before he raced. He was only racing today and it, this is his peak meet. This is the last meet of the season yeah. and he still has this little uh, goatee as you can see <laughs> on his face. And I said, hey, you know, I shaved it down. Just, just you give me your answer earlier. Because I want to keep things playful. It's a reminder, you know, that you just don't take yourself too serious. Keep it playful, keep it fun and uh, you'll, you'll be amazed what you can actually do in the pool. Well, there you go, 37 years old, second at the German Nationals in the 50 freestyle, swimming a lifetime, not a season or a Masters, or a lifetime best of 22.39. Yeah. What, a, what an inspiration, and uh, if, you, if you don't already, go follow him on Instagram and on YouTube. You've got a YouTube channel now. Yeah, yeah, it's the same, it's the same name. Storazo86, and uh, he's an inspiration to me. I'm gonna go and train harder than I've ever done this week and or smarter or faster or something um, and try and be like him in a few years time. Thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. Cheers for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. thank you, man, that was awesome. Thank Cheers. You. Mate, this thank is so you. heavy. Is it Seriously. heavy? <laughs> I was seeing your face, I was like, come on. <laughs> thank you. Cam has been filming this on the gimbal, just holding it up for like 10 minutes. Wow. He's just done his 50 breast final. What a trooper, what a trooper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, mate, I'm so sweaty the whole time. <laughs> Melting, man. Yeah, for everything, man. Yeah.